All right, welcome to Gold is Where You Find It, and today it's cleanup time. We're going to clean up the gold from the live streams that we did on Christmas weekend on Saturday and Sunday. We did a total of 20 pans, and um, if you haven't seen those live streams, uh, there's a card right here, uh, so you can go check those out. But all the gold that we get panning in these live streams at Yahula Creek Park in Dahlonega, Georgia, at the end of the year, we're going to uh, tally it all up and donate it to the Dahlonega Gold Museum. So you guys are going to get a live picture of exactly how hard it is to dig for gold in Georgia and how much money you can expect to make with just a pan and a shovel. So I think it's going to be a pretty cool experiment after this cleanup. We'll have a pretty good idea of what those numbers are. So uh, smash the like button and let's get to it. So we're going to go ahead and classify both buckets of cons to minus kitchen strainer very carefully as I splash it into my kitchen strainer. This is, this bucket right here is Saturday's cons. So my picker should be in the other bucket. Uh, all right, all right, that wasn't that much. Okay, and then here's our other bucket, which is a little bit dirtier looking. This is gonna make our water get dirty, isn't it? It's all right, we'll change the water out here in a second. All righty, close enough. Oh, look, there's our aluminum nugget. And there's our lovely plus kitchen strainer material right there. And there's going to be a picker in there, I'm sure of it. So we're going to have to save this one. We got a picker on Sunday. All right, set that to the side. Okay, so now let's transfer this material into a smaller pan that I can use to pan it out. Okay, we got the surfactant. Let's get one or two drops of that. And here is how much concentrate we have from 20 pans. So that'll give you an idea of how much black sand I save after each pan, quite a bit. So we're gonna go ahead and pan this out. We're not gonna be too careful. We're gonna be a little sloppy because we're saving all the cons for a couple months and we're gonna run rerun all the cons at once should be pretty interesting. All right, so let's just go ahead and get this long process. You know what? Believe it or not, these riffles actually matter what direction you point them for your wave action. You got to kind of time it with the back wave like that to pan out of a small pan like this without making a huge mess. Just kind of Got to time it just right. And this is going to take a while, so we're going to go ahead and fast forward. getting down to that last little bit it's about time to start doing our final cleanup and so at this point just for the heck of it let's go ahead and do the shaker table method and pull it back and see what it looks like just get a first little look at it we'll probably get the bulk of it out of the black sand here in a second like this Okay, oh yeah. You guys see that starting to show up there? Yeah, we do got mercury. Or we do have mercury, sorry about my uh, grammar there. All right, let me suck that up. Yeah, there's a decent amount of mercury in there. For sure, for sure. That might actually help us. 
capture more of the really fine stuff. Now, if you're not familiar with my channel, I did not put any mercury in my concentrates. That mercury came out of the creek and the old timers put it there in the 1800s. So shame on them, not me. I get yelled at in the comments sometimes. I can't believe you're using mercury. You're destroying the environment. I'm like, actually, if you actually watched my channel, you'd realize that I'm taking the mercury out of the environment. panning it down and see how much is left. And yeah, I know that I'm missing a significant amount, but I don't care because I'm going to have a big bucket full of black sand to go through here in a couple months and get a nice little surprise to add to the total. All right. I think I'm gonna go ahead and switch up my method here. I think I've got it panned down enough. Well, maybe not. Okay. So I'm just gonna take some off the top like this, knowing that there's gonna be gold in the back pile. That's all right. I'm going to separate the back pile from the front pile as such, and except for I just messed it up. Ah. All right. This is definitely an unorthodox way of doing things, so I know that, guys. So, But this is just what I do to pan through this very small gold by hand. Okay, I got a decent amount back there. Now I can probably start separating it into two piles like this and once I have two distinct piles there we go now I got two distinct piles alright so I'm gonna pan the bottom pile separate uh oh Most of the gold is not going to be in the bottom pile, and if there is any, we're going to catch it at the end of this little mini painting session. We'll just stop right there. I saw a piece in there. So we shake it all back into one pile as such, and then make sure I don't have too much water, and then repeat. Get myself a second pile. Most of the gold is at the bottom of the top pile, but we're going to miss some of it using this method, so that's why we pan the bottom pile separate without the riffles. Just reducing the amount, reducing the amount of black sand. Let's see how much gold. Okay, so I'm seeing gold in there. You guys aren't going to be able to see that on camera, but that's when I stop. Take it back down. And repeat. Actually, you probably need more water in there than that. Okay. There we go. Okay, that's a good size bottom pile there. Separate it. Get some separation here. Okay, now let's see what we can get rid of. Okay, I'm not seeing gold yet. Which, there's a little bit. Okay, so stop. And let's go some more. We're 
almost far enough to stop. Okay. Yeah, I know there's gold in this bottom pile, so I'm going to be a little careful this time with the bottom pile because I know it's in there. That's fine. We're just going to let's just do the tap now. Tap and pull, tap and pull. Let's see. Is that light too much? Is that better or worse? I'm not sure. I think it's worse. All right. There's a decent amount left in there for sure, for sure. Wow. Okay. Nice line of gold there. You see that? All right, let's get that sucked up. Hey, this is going to be pretty decent. This is going to be pretty decent for 20 pans. I think we did okay. I really think we did okay. I'm interested to see the snuffer dump here. I think it's going to be decent. Okay, let's see. How much is at the bottom of this pile now? Again, I don't mind being a little careless because we're gonna get the rest of that gold later. Oh, oh wow, there's actually quite a bit at the bottom of that pile. Okay, all right, let's tap this out. Oh wow, I mean, there's still a decent sized line in there. I do the snuffer dump I'm gonna clean the clean the water out change it so we can really see what we're doing on that final cleaning I think we got 99% of it there okay and did you all forget this because I did we still got to go through the plus kitchen strainer yeah, I can invert this. Make sure we get everything stuck out of the screen like that. That's what I like about these is you can turn them inside out to clean them out better. All right, so there's our aluminum nugget. So we'll get rid of that. And we should have some lead and some gold in here. Let's pull our lead out separate. I saved my lead. I'm gonna set my lead here next to my aluminum nugget. These are our heavies that, there's another piece of lead. I saved my lead, keep it separate, so. Got a nice jar of lead going for the year. All right, we got three pieces of old lead shot. All right, actually, let's just do it like this. Yeah, I lost the picker. That's some chunky heavies. I wonder if the picker, I wonder if that picker fit through the screen. Was it that small of a picker? Did it actually fit through the screen? Because where is it? I don't, I'm not seeing any gold.
hopefully the picker's in the snuffer bottle, guys. Which, I mean, that doesn't make sense. Okay, let's proceed with the snuffer dump. I can't remember if I put this in the clean water or not. So we're gonna go with another drop. Okay, so we got some jet dry in the water here. And let's do this. Here's our snuffer dump from 20 pans. As we prepare for our final cleaning. And that was uneventful because you guys can't see. <laughs> Let me shake it down into the corner and see what it looks like. Here, 20 pans of gold. Okay, all right, there's a little pile down there. I think we might end up with like at least a point one. Let's see. See what how much of this black sand we can get out. Oh wow, yeah. Alright, let me zoom in and show you guys this gold real quick. There you have it. I think that might be the picker right down there. Not a hundred percent sure. I'll find out here in a second, but look at that. 20 pans. That's a good amount of gold right there, guys. Let's find out how much it weighs. You think that's the picker right there in the center of the screen? I don't know. I'm not sure. We'll find out. Okay, so probably the best way for me to do this is to... Oh, wow. Look at that. That's, that's pretty nice, guys. That's pretty nice. Alright, so let me get that black sand away. So I have clean gold at the top, and then we're just gonna repeat that process. Guys, that's a nice line of gold for 20 pans. I'm, I'm super happy with that. Super happy with that at this point. That's looking pretty darn good for 20 pans. Not sure why there's not a picker in there. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, something's buzzing around in there. No, that's a ball of mercury. There's definitely mercury in there, guys. Mercury covered gold. challenging to get all the way clean here I'm really confused about that picker I should have put it in a snuffer bottle to begin with but I didn't all right let me get this last little bit out of here and then I'll be right back for the second snuffer dump okay and there you can see a significant amount of mercury Mixed in with the gold there. <clears throat> that's not atypical for out here. But I still don't know where my picker is. That's that's not it. Alright. I don't know. I just picked that up. That's not the picker, right? No. It can't be. Well, there's my picker. Pretty sure it's probably the smallest picker in the world. Oh, it's not even picking up now. There we go, I just picked it up between two fingers. World's smallest picker. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can get a good snuffer dump here. Oh, there you go, look at that. Look at that constellation of gold right there. That's pretty cool. Let me make sure this is cleaned out. Man, there's cat hair all up <laughs> in my water here. I think I need to vacuum. It's just part of having a cat. Just have cat hair everywhere. All right, so as I shake it all down here, let's see, what do you guys think? How much? How much, how much? It's hard, you don't have a size reference. 
I'm gonna look at this and I'm gonna say 0.14. All right, there it is, guys. About 95% clean. And I don't care to clean it any further than that. You can see there's a little black sand in there, but check out how much mercury you can see kind of sprinkled throughout that. But let's dry this out so we can weigh it up. Oh yeah, check out the floating gold. Isn't that crazy? Even though I know gold floats, it's still kind of... Okay, let's see how close I was to my guess. We're on grams, aren't we? Yes, we're on grams. Okay. Let's give her the old sprinkle, sprinkle. I was pretty close. Pretty close. 0.127 grams of gold. And this gold here that we got this weekend is worth about $8.39. You can see that picker right there in the middle. It's kind of brown looking compared to everything else, but you see all that silvery mercury in there? But that's what we got, 0.127 grams of gold in 20 pans. And let's go ahead and dump what we got from the previous live stream in there. And so in total now, make sure the static is off of there. 0.16 grams of gold in six hours of digging. 30 pans, 0.162. All right, that was pretty good. So I had to bust out the calculator and it looks like uh, we are up to $10.71 value of gold that we have mined during our live stream so far uh, that we're gonna be donating. Um, we did about 150 shovels. And so that puts us at about seven cents per shovel and um, about 36 cents per pan and about $1.79 per hour. So uh, if you think you're going to profit from panning for gold with a pan and a shovel, um, I challenge you to do better than $1.79 per hour. So it's up to you to decide uh, if it's worth it or not. To me, it's worth it because it's a hobby and it's what I love to do. Um, if you're going to make a living out of it, I suppose you could buy probably enough packs of ramen noodles to survive on uh, with $1.79 an hour if you worked really hard. So... Um, yeah, definitely not a wise career move, but, uh, I appreciate everyone watching. If you would, uh, take a look down in the uh, description, you'll see the links to all my social media, including my Patreon. Also, if you could smash that join button to become a member, uh, you get like some, uh, members only perks and access to, uh, our monthly rewards. So go ahead and check that out. But, uh, oh yeah, my merch store, goldiswhereyoufindit.com. Don't forget that one. And subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. And please hit that bell for notifications. Uh, if you don't hit that bell, you won't know when our next live stream is going to be because I, I don't have them at a set time. Whenever I show up to the creek, I fire up the live stream. And if you don't have that bell smashed, uh, you're not going to find out about it until it's half over. So go ahead and smash that bell right down below. But I appreciate everyone watching, and I'll see you next time. Oh yeah, and Merry Christmas.